So we've put the pots out this morning. It's one of the great things about Rotnest. You can put your pots in around a reefy area and then we've moved out here to the sand. And we're out here chasing sand whiting. They're in healthy numbers, big schools. We're in about 20 metres of water. It's another great thing about this island. You can drop your pots in, grab your lobsters, and then come out here and grab a feeder fish as well. Let's hope we get a few for the table tonight. I think one of the reasons that uh, this is such a great sport for the kids is because there's plenty of action. Uh, they're easy to wind in and the kids don't ever get bored because they're, they're always kept busy. We just seem to be uh, in a school of smaller ones at the moment. Hopefully the bigger ones will turn up shortly. Okay, the rig here for catching whiting is very simple and it's similar all over the country. We're using two long shank hooks here, so a twin hook rig with a small weight right at the bottom. It's a classic, what they call a paternoster rig. I'm using a very small sinker and that's because I'm fishing with braid which has less resistance so I can use less weight to get to the bottom. I think that helps me feel more bites. Some of the other guys that are using mono line will be using a heavier weight because it has more resistance through the water. But it's a very simple rig. It's attached to your line here with a very small swivel at the end. Put some bait on there, drop it over. It doesn't get tangled up in the bottom too much because your sinker hits the bottom first. So if there is reef or something like that, you won't get tangled in the reef so much with your hooks. But it's a very classic and simple rig and very popular all over the country. Well, look at this, eh? This is what we love about these fish. There are just so many of them down there and they're so nice and tasty to eat. Uh, it's simple, good fun. The other beauty of this style of fishing is, as you can see, we're not far from shore, so you don't have to be concerned about really rough conditions or long runs away from the island. It's very accessible for most size boats to come out here and catch a feed for dinner, no problem at all. It's like the West Australian rig versus the uh, New South Wales rig, and I, I think the home team's got it at the moment. Well, very, very different outfits. I've got an ultralight spin outfit, and you're using something that I'd probably throw for snapper. <laughs> no, and, and look, these but are the almost New said, South Wales snapper size. And the fight you get though on the light gear, oh, look at this. Yeah. It's fantastic fun, isn't it? It's heaps of fun. And that's what it's about really. Just getting out and enjoying yourself. So I've done, oh, here we go, a little double header on the light outfit. They're not huge, these ones. They're probably going to go back, I'd say. So if you have a look at these fish, you can see while they sit over the sand, they've got that mouth that turns down. So they're grubbing around in the sand, looking for worms and things to eat. And they do put up a really good fight considering the size of the fish. They're very strong. And they have a very nice white flesh. So if you're looking for a feed of fish and chips or something like that, they're perfect for that sort of thing. Knock a fillet off. The bones are very small. So they're nice and they're easy to eat, even for kids as well. And that's why they're so popular.